In this video, we'll take a look at the last step in our manufacturing process, finalizing the toolkit and generating NC code. First, let's select the NC code tab. Here we have a few options that pertain to finalizing our program and producing machine code. We'll start with the review toolkit command, which allows you to inspect the toolkit that's being used for this particular component. Here we can easily edit the selected tool, changing any number of parameters that we may require. For this example, we'll change the tool's turret position, which is especially useful when working in a lathe environment where tool interference issues are a concern. Now if we were to select Close and Regenerate Sequence, the machining instructions would be regenerated using the updated turret position. We also have the ability to edit the pre-selected tools directly from the sequence list. Double-clicking a tool will launch the tooling dialog for that particular cutter. Now if we switch off Associative and select the Find command, the tool store dialog opens. Deselecting Use Filters will allow us to replace the tool with any tool that exists in the system library. This way you can alter the tooling that's automatically generated through the auto and semi-auto machining approaches. Next we'll look at the job reports, which provide a significant amount of information about every job that has been programmed on your system. The job reports launch in a web browser and broadcast the report live, meaning that the manufacturing data is always up to date and the report can be accessed through any internet-capable device. There are numerous facets to the job report. You can search for a file based on the customer, the family, or the status. You can also simply type a word into the search field. Here we'll type the word lathe, and now the display list will only show files with the word lathe in them. Here's a file that we've been working on throughout the turning tutorials. With the file now open, let's take a look at the upper right hand corner of the window where you'll see both a tool list and a job instruction list. The tool list provides tool information and presetting data for each tool that's used on this particular job. The job instruction list provides a breakdown of each cam instruction used in the job, including cycle time. There's also a third area called job image that's only active if the job report contains an image file. To create an image for this job, let's return to the workspace and select the file tab. Now select Save Job Image and give it a name. Now when we return to the job report and refresh the list, you'll see the job image area. When we open the list, the available images will be displayed and selecting a thumbnail will open the image at full resolution. Returning now to the workspace, we'll take a look at the final step in the process, generating NC code. When we select Generate NC, the Generate NC Code dialog appears where we can name our resulting file, or as in this case, select the box for use part name. After selecting OK, the CAM instructions are passed through the post processor and the resulting NC file is loaded into the editor. The editor allows you to inspect and edit your machine code and contains many tools to help in doing so. We have basic word editing functions on the far left, a set of search commands that allow you to easily find or search and replace specific commands, the NC edit functions that allow you to resequence the existing commands, add or remove sequences, and reformat the code. Compare functions that allow accurate comparison between two different NC files. Options functions. And finally, Windows functions that make it easy to split up the workspace in order to view multiple NC programs at one time. Once we're satisfied with the CNC program, we're ready to save our file and conclude this tutorial. Thank you.